VMOG Sports TV back with another one. Man, I had to talk about this. I'm out of town. I'm in Vegas right now. I just I have to say something about this, man. Deontay Wilder is I, I'm not listen, you want to take it how you want it. Deontay Wilder fans, PBC fans, Al Heyman protectors, take take it how you want it. LDBC. Take it how take it how you want it. You know, I was a supporter of Deontay Wilder, longtime supporter. And the things he'd been saying the past 48 hours, nobody can defend that. And if you do defend it, you need to be mentally evaluated, drug tested. Um, and I want to question your life decisions overall. Deontay Wilder is the worst former heavyweight champion of all time. When I say worse, I'm talking about being an ambassador of the sport, um, showing good sportsmanship, right? He doesn't do that. Um, taking your loss like a man, he doesn't do that. Gracious in defeat, doesn't do that. Accepting his mistakes, doesn't do that. Acknowledging that his opponent was the better man, doesn't do that. <laughs> The list goes on and on, man. It goes on and on and on. This guy's talking about his costume was the reason why he lost because he wore that goddamn show enough from the last dragon from the year 3020. <laughs> Wearing that damn costume. Nobody forced you to wear that costume. You talking about, man, he's blaming everything. You know, you, you, you. Fire Mark Breland for saving your life after you were getting severe punishment. You want to be Patrick Day. You the one that said that you want to die in the ring. And you had a question, you had to talk about it with your team. You want to die in the ring. What does that do for your children, bro? You got kids. And you got hella kids too. <laughs> More than me. You got what, six, seven kids? What does that do for your kids talking about you want to die in the ring? Huh? What does that do for your kids? It's bigger than boxing. And see, Wilder and the fans, at least the, the at least the idiot fans who don't have any logical sense, will support that. He's a warrior. No, that's not. It's bigger than boxing. It's about your life, your livelihood, your family. Because when you hang up them goddamn gloves, there's life after boxing. You want to have all your faculties, like Mayweather says. You want to be upright. You know what I'm saying? You, you want to be coherent. You don't want to be a vegetable. You don't want to have Parkinson's disease and all these ailments after a fighter has been taking severe punishment for so long. You don't want that. You don't want that. Right? But yet, Wilder does want that. He wants to be Patrick Day. You know, you know how many fighters have died the past year? And here's the funny thing about this, right? The funny thing about this, if Mark Breland did not Throwing that damn towel. We will be talking about Deontay Wilder suffering life-threatening injuries or possibly dying in the ring. And so many people will be saying they should have stopped the fight. And of course, the majority of people, especially boxers and pundits, are saying the stoppage was justified. And a lot of people are saying the, the the fight should have been stopped earlier, including myself. Right? Mark Breland saved your goddamn life. And you treat him. See, here's the problem also. You got LDBC channels, Deontay Wilder fans talking about Deontay Wilder's, you know, he's proud to be black and he supports our brothers, right? But he treats Mark Breland like shit. He protects Jay Diaz, his white counterpart. He protects Shelly Finkel, his white counterpart, right? So what is it, man? Like, is he supposed to be pro-black or is he following the dominant white society's agenda? You know, playing both sides of the fence, buck dancing. Buck dancing, right? Is that what, he, is that what he's truly doing? Buck dancing? Huh? So, again, you know... <laughs> These excuses, man, you know, th th this, this shows you the difference of, and I'm going to do a separate video because the American heavyweight boxing is dead. I'm sorry it is. There's nobody, gonna, there's nobody that is going to replace Deontay Wilder. 
all of the premier champions and all of the talent in heavyweight boxing is overseas in the UK. Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, Dillian White from the UK. All the top boxers. All the belts are in the UK. Right? And, you know, people are talking about, oh, well, you know, PPC had the belts before. You know, they had Anthony, they had uh, Andy Ruiz and Deontay Wilder. Well, that lets you know. If, you, if, if, if those guys just got the belts last year and you compare their resume, combine their resume, compare it to Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury, and Dillian White, no comparison. So my point is, is that the talent and the prospects of American heavy, oh, excuse me, uh, uh, of heavyweight boxing period, is in the UK. Point blank and simple. So I mean, Deontay Wilder is a disgrace, a disgrace to boxing, a disgrace to his family. For you need to apologize to your children. Apologize to your children because you choose boxing over your children. Apologize to your children, bro. Boxing is not bigger than family. Boxing is not bigger than your children. Boxing is not bigger than life. You got that shit twisted. The delusional fans got that shit twisted. And y'all fake as hell, too. All these LDBC, PBC, Al Hamer protectors, like I said in my last video, all y'all fans only exist online. Y'all don't show up to his fights. Y'all don't buy tickets. You know what I'm saying? And y'all live in the States. You got Tyson Fury fans, AJ fans, buying plane tickets, buying hotels, flying across overseas to support their fighter. And y'all are non-existent. And if y'all show up into the fight, y'all are not outnumbered. It's embarrassing. Y'all, you know, it's it's sad, man. It's, it's sad. You know, Deontay Wilder never really had a fan base like that. You know? He never really had a fan base like that. It's disgusting. Like, y'all some fake-ass, fair-weather fans. Like, y'all don't, <laughs> when, it, when it comes to putting your money where your mouth is, y'all don't do that shit because y'all don't show up and show out to support the former WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Deontay Wilder. Y'all don't show up. Y'all don't support that brother. You know what I'm saying? You combine all the goddamn LDBC, PBC, Al Hammond protected channels online, that's probably, what, at least half a million? Half a million right there? And what does that translate to when you go watch him fight live? I bet you it's like 0.1% of y'all show up. If that. I'm not being generous. So, you know, it is what it is, man. This is really disgusting. You know, Deontay Wilder decides to fire Mark Breland. Um, he is a buck dancing coon who follows the coon code. You turn down $120 million. You could you could have got knocked out for $120 million. You chose to get knocked out for $25 million. Or $50 million because you're going to fight him again. But you're going to lose because you don't know how to accept defeat. You don't know how to embrace your flaws and correct your mistakes and acknowledge it and say, hey, I know what I did wrong and I'm going to correct it. You don't have that mentality, bro. And even if you did, even if you did, it wouldn't work because you're 35, 34 going on 35. So whatever you taught as new, it'll go right out the window because you result back to what you know, which is muscle memory, which is not knowing how to fight off the back foot, which is not knowing how to properly set yourself and parry punches, right? Roll punches, clinch. Your ass couldn't, you didn't even know how to freaking clinch, bro. Like, you was backpedaling. Your legs was lost. You had no legs. You was doing the Bambi dance. You was backpedaling. All you was doing was doing the Bambi dance with a high guard, going back in the ropes in the corner, and trying to survive. That's called muscle memory. That's called, you don't know shit about boxing. That's called, I wasn't taught shit as a professional for the past 10, 12 years. Thanks to Jay Diaz. JD should be fired. Point blank and simple. So, man. Terrible, 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 bro. Terrible. Anyway, those are my thoughts on that, family. Leave your comments down below. GMOG Sports TV. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on Instagram at GMOG Media TV. Till next time, signing out.
Okay.